Hello and welcome to something a little bit different here. We are in the SK Modified here at the Bullring. Now this is both a car and track I am not too experienced with. Um, I've only done one other race in a Modified and that was for the K5 Championship race at Kern during the Kern County Championship. And uh, I believe that was the Tour Mod if I'm not mistaken. And this is the SK, it's got a little bit less power. Uh, we've also got Chad in here. Good luck to him. Um, this is my first official race in the SK, as I was saying. And uh, the bouldering, I think uh, I might have done one official race here in like the late model or something. Um, but I know I bought it for the league as well. And um, let's see, I'm going to get my settings how I want. I found that uh, I like 57 on the front brake bias. I'm going to do the default of 10. Uh, the way I was driving, that's kind of just what I found was working for me, but um, as mentioned, very inexperienced in these cars, so don't, uh, don't expect any good advice or anything from me. I'm just learning. But hopefully we can have ourselves a good run. Let's see what we can do. So I'm finding it, it really likes, to, seems to respond to a wide tree. I slide through the corner there, that was not great. Yeah, that was not a great qualifying effort. <laughs> oh well, we get a 716 and then follow it up with a 750. I know I can do better, I had a 571. Just, and uh, I think if I hadn't slipped through three and four on that first lap, that would have been real good. But uh, it seems to be holding up pretty well right now. Uh, we got Chad and P2. Well, he gets a great uh, qualifying run as well. Uh, we are the number one, unfortunately. Uh, 2.4k strength of field estimated from iRacing. I'm not sure, this might be like the second race of the week, third race, I'm not entirely sure, I just saw that it was uh, 30 minutes away when I was looking at the schedule, at the timeline, ready to race something else this week, and uh, I saw 30 minutes, I'm like, alright, I'll get my 30 minutes of practice that I like to get, and we'll uh, try an SK Modified race. And uh, so far so good, I guess, the five's not here, um, so we are going to have to wait the remaining two and a half minutes, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, I might let you go here so you don't have to sit here and wait, but uh, so far so good. We are P1. We are waiting on the 9 and the 10, and then we'll see if the 5 shows up at the last minute or something. But uh, is it single split? I'm not sure. It might have split once, potentially, and I think that's maybe what happened. It may have split once. So um, we'll see how this holds up. I'm going to let you go for a minute, and uh, I'll sit here and wait. For uh, about two minutes. See you. See you then. All right, and we are back. Um, Chad was just pointing out uh, you can make the A pillar You'll be lining up translucent, <laughs> transparent, whatever. Um, I thought I I Excavated knew how to do it, but apparently not. Um, it wasn't giving me any issues, but. I can definitely see how that would be helpful, so I'm going to have to find how to do that in the future. I thought it was fine, because it wasn't really bothering me before, but I guess it is still there. Um, I looked for it in the graphics options real quick, but I didn't see it. But uh, We'll just live with it for this race, and in the future I'll make it uh, clear. I have that in real life, so that's not too much of like a video game advantage kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, we already have our virtual mirror, so that is what that is. Um, a little nervous. Uh, I ended up on the pole, um, as you can see. Not see that coming. It looks like a first gear start. Um, so I, I guess we're going to do that. Can't see the darn pace car, but I guess we don't need to, because it's going to be pulling off the track anyway. Looks like it's about 35 miles an hour is the uh, pace speed. I'm not too far up the track. I do not belong here. <laughs> this is my first official race in this thing. I don't know how I managed to pull, but to go. we're going to roll with it. Um, 
Hopefully get ourselves a good start. Hopefully first gear is what I want to be in. About to go green. Stay focused. And uh, it's going to pull off a little early and we're going to have to go oh, around the corner here already. before we actually get going. Hey guys, guys. Okay, it definitely was first gear, looks like. Outside. Keep low. Alright, Chad on our outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Pull them off the best we can. We're getting hit. You are in the middle. Three wide. I don't know why he's shoving me out of the way. Still there, still there. Ready to the start ahead. necessarily, but I guess that's what the series is. I'm gonna use bumpers here. That's how it works, so shouldn't be surprised when it happens. We'll be filed back to third. Gotta go around them. Clear inside. Uh, no cautions in the series. It's kind of like Arca. So this has been pretty terrible so far. Looks like everyone's dumping everybody. Into the back of me earlier already. The gap in front is now 1.0. Fastest lap for Flanagan. But we will settle in now. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit cleaner. We'll try to hit some good laps. into the rhythm that we need to get into. The gap in front is now 0.9. All right, so P4, we've moved back after getting hit, and then uh, I go to our inside and everything. These are pretty short races, aren't they? Short track, and then... Uh, we're only doing 40 laps around here. Number two, if you want to go under me, I'm not going to fight you for you. around here. Crossover up ahead as Chad was going for the position. They're fighting for, for the lead. Bring them back to us a little bit. Thank you. The gap is no problem. That's the no problem, dude. The race. That lap was a 14.7. You're bad to me anyway, so... That lap was a 14.9. It's looking to be smooth. I think, uh... Keeping this thing from sliding too much on exit, kind of throttling up smoothly is really good for keeping the momentum through the corners. Seems to be the case. Your lap time was 14.8. Now we got to figure out how to pass, though, which is a new challenge for me. Didn't get to practice that at all. Maybe we'll look for a mistake. I don't plan on using my bumper, even though that's kind of a thing in this series. Outside. We'll get to his outside. Keep lucky. Behind is now 2.7 seconds. Still there. Hold your line. Outside is clear. All right, we make the pass. Sweet. I think he might have backed off for us a little bit, but that's okay. Still counts. Oh, leader gets loose. He's the leader, right? Car outside. The next car's the leader. Outside is clear. I believe so. Yeah. So that's Chad into the lead. Kind of room for Chad, the fellow lead member. It's not going to be me. It should be him, right? I think he's definitely more experienced in this series. Um, obviously more than me. You can't possibly be less experienced in this series than me. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's a, a regular. I've seen Nick race him before, I'm pretty sure. So he knows what he's doing. Catching up to this 10, who's maybe struggling a bit. Just done a 14.8. Outside. Still there. The next car's the leader. Alright, get around the 10. 
Now can we catch Chad? Had a little sideways on entry there. That was a little scary for a moment. No idea where that guy was, so I had to kind of take a higher entry through that corner. Can we catch him? He's less than a second ahead. But that's a larger gap than uh, at a short track than it would be at a uh, an intermediate, of course. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. He's hitting some good laps too. That lap was at fourteen point eight P two. We're over halfway at this point. I think he's driving away. Maybe I can learn something from his line. Sorry, Ed. The gap ahead is now 1.0 seconds. Nice again, man. That lap time was 14.8. Trying to go a little bit lower in the corners, that might be helping us a little bit. You've just done a 14 point a little sideways there though, that was not good. Not only do we have to catch him, but if we want to win this race, we got to pass him too. That's going to be a whole other challenge, especially if he doesn't plan on making any mistakes. Ooh, got a little tight there. You've just done a fourteen point nine. Right, I'm kind of feeling the rhythm. I'm I'm not hitting it every time, but when I hit it, I know it. I know it feels good. I know I've got it right. At least I'm pretty sure. Feels fast. Do you have lap traffic coming up? That could play a factor, especially if they're side by side when we reach them like they are right the now. Front is now that could get very, very interesting. Not a very good lap from me there. Missed my marks. Will this hold up, Chad? I'm thinking it will because they're wrecking each other. Well, that's not uh, what he wanted to see, I can guarantee you that. Go around here, man. Car outside. Go on. Clear. He said he'd let me around you, and then he almost cut down in front of me. I said he was going to let me around him, I mean. So that definitely cut uh, into the lead there. Not really anything. Chad could do about that, though. I think he might just be a little bit faster. Get a little bit loose, maybe. I drove that in way too hard. Kills my exit. Gotta remember, wide entries here seem to work the best. So don't get too over eager. You got five laps to go. We're in a great spot for some hardware. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch him. We're running out of time here. Just not quite consistent enough yet. I've got to work on driving this car a little bit more. He gets loose there. Doesn't lose too much time. You can see how inconsistent I am. I'm, I'll gain a tenth, lose a tenth, all back and forth. Let's 
go. Two to go. Keep it together. Two we'll to go. Got maybe lap traffic again, though. That could White flag. One more lap to make go. a difference on this final lap. We might catch them. Last lap. Looking good for a podium. And we'll bring it in to point three behind, but not quite able to get it. Well done. Decent drive. Good win to him. There's the ticket flag. <laughs> Give him the uh, hey, rev. You just gave me like 10 at the end, and you don't even race in your lap down. Oh man, we were the only ones to avoid the <laughs> contact. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that was a messy one for most people. 14x in a 40 lap race. That's not ideal. I think the 10 and 11 maybe were bouncing off of each other a bunch, judging by what the uh, what I thought the uh, 11 had said there. It was close. Yeah, we were able to pull in close. Learned in first race car gets loose. It did get loose. That's interesting. And yeah, 97-94. I did notice that. I had to kind of feather the throttle on the exits. So that was pretty fun, though. I enjoyed doing that. Those guys flying early and we're in for a bad time. Yeah, we're going to go back and look at that. We'll see all the contact here in the incidents. Some scary moments early on, thankfully we were able to avoid. We didn't have that great of a start. These cars can keep you on your toes. Great combo. Oh, or do it. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. This is, uh, like I said, my first time in this car. And I don't think it'll be my last. I enjoyed that. So, early on, whoa. Lots of guys kind of bouncing off of each other, it looks like. They're three wide on lap one. And then there was some checkup right up there, I think. And then the two had a bad angle in the corner. Maybe goes up a little bit, but they're not giving much room. They're all kind of just bouncing off of each other, and then they end up four wide for a second. Eight gets sideways, and fortunately some guys caught in that. Oh, almost some contact. The four somehow pitches it into the corner. Not quite sure how he did that. Like slam the brakes or something? Two. Good racing with Chad. I think I snuck in that YouTube before he left. <laughs> Maybe you saw it. Um, so, this is uh, the contact for the lead. Why did it look like the 10 did that on purpose? Why does it look like he turned to the right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe he just hit the apron. And it sent him up. But uh, not a very good move, necessarily. And he just drives in there way too hard. He wasn't there, and uh, he's just being super aggressive on lap four, dives it in there, and then can't make it stick. Hits the apron, comes up and wrecks the guy. So not very great racecraft right there. Um, he gets sideways in front of us, and we have to do some evasive maneuvers. Hit the brakes. See that uh, we really don't have any room to go down low, so I have to kind of uh, abort mission on the left turning and do a little bit of right turning. And thankfully get around unscathed, but we lose a bunch of time. You can see uh, the leader up there gets real far away. And Chad gets himself a decent gap. All the way to lap 17, so we had a nice little run there before some more incidents. And it was just the force of spinning here in 11th. 10, just destroys the 6. 10's uh, having a rough race, I think. 
And it's like he tries to do a crossover, but he forgot to cross him over. He just decided to run into the back of him. He just destroys him. So, uh... Not too impressed with this guy's driving, to be frank. Yeah, I mean, he just sees him there and decides, I'm just going to keep going. My throttle pedal is going to be down whether he was there or not. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I mean, this poor nine, I think, uh, he's just been in a wreck or something. He gets uh, hit by the 11 entering on, not on the apron, but really low. And then, I don't know who to even call that on. It's kind of a dive bomb. It's hard to say, but uh, what's less difficult to say is that uh, this was not very good. The 10 just runs up on the 9 from a million miles back. He just had a wreck, and so he slowed down low, and the 10 just decides he's going to run through him. <laughs> that seems to be a common theme with him. And then this is after the race. we got the uh, 6 trying to pull off the course, but there's an invisible wall there. And uh, that is it, so... Hey, pretty solid first race in the Modified here, the SK Modified. We'll get P2 behind Chad. Experience wins out, and uh, deservedly so. He had a great race. But we uh, are able to get a P2, which is awesome. And it looks like we'll gain a modest amount of uh, I rating as well for our P2 as the number one car. And we'll look at the race results now to confirm such things. Again, 2.4k strength of field. It was uh, specifically 2470. We had the fastest lap. All right, two thumbs up. Nine I rating, getting real close to hitting 6,000 for the first time. Neato, pretty neat stuff. And uh, Chad gets the win. Congrats, he gets 72 I rating and improves his safety rating a little bit as well. So, all right, six, six successful first race. I even led a lap. Pretty sure it was the first lap <laughs> after somehow getting the pole, but. It all counts. It counts. I let a lap in my first race. Heck yeah. <laughs> but uh, that will do it. Hope you enjoyed some modified racing here. Something brand new to the channel. Um, some SK modified. And I uh, hope to do some more in the future. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.